What is going on, everybody? Tamagot got here. Welcome into another video. We're going to be hopping into the Great League this time with a little bit of an ELO reveal, as you can see there on the screen already, and a Gudra showcase with Thunder Punch in the Great League. I created a double backline with Thunder Punch as Typhlosion also received Thunder Punch this season and a Shadow Glagger on the front to uh, kind of deal with those fighters and a little bit of a bulkier, like, say, pass seed on that uh, you may see. So let's hop into these matches here and check out the team. What on a pretty good run with this team and i hope y'all are gonna stay tuned and watch the video just to see how you play out some matches here so skarmory on the lead here gonna safe swap into gudra gudra is gonna mainly be your safe spot for one to grab the shields for two hopefully win switch advantage with its new thunder punch move come on with glagar and hopefully grab the second shield and have typhlosion sweep in the back so that's kind of the thought process around the team so we're going to take you through some matchups here to see how you should play each one uh dragon air gonna get dragon breath down even though <laughs> dragon air is known for its damage output gudra is just a bit more bulky and we're actually not able to get to that thunder or aqua tail which is a little bit unfortunate against the skarmory that's okay we're gonna come in with the typhlosion get two incinerates off and then go for the thunder punch the pacing on Typhlosion is absolutely absurd. And you're gonna see throughout this video that uh, Typhlosion actually carries a lot of my games. So Sky Attack gonna get shielded up. In comes a Dragalgy. We're gonna uh, <laughs> do two more incinerates just so we have the Blast Burn locked and loaded because I kind of want to be on my opponent. And I'm hoping this is not the outrage because we are one away from the dig. Aqua Tail, not gonna be enough to do it. Gonna throw one and then the dig for the proper move timing. Dig is definitely gonna be enough to hit K one hit KO. Left right good at night to that dragology back in comes the skarmory and uh we lag out a lot there didn't even realize i could have thrown the dig to probably ko the skarmory but aerialist is gonna do the trick and um they're gonna end up throwing their move anyways so we have the blast burn locked and loaded and that's gonna be a good game well played to my opponent i know i haven't made a video uh as of lately it's been about uh what 13 days or something like that but we're on a camping trip with the family and everything so there was really no way I could have um, made a video when I was out camping unless it was a short and I, we just wanted to spend time with the family and have fun with them. So that's why no video was out. And uh, obviously the whole double week of uh, Summer Cup wasn't really my cup of tea. So I decided to kind of uh, take it easy. And um, yeah, now Grayley's back. Hopefully put more videos out. So uh, thank you all for your patience. I appreciate it. But uh, a zoomer on the lead. So uh, for this game, I decided to chip and dip, go into my Gudra, but I found later games that if I just go straight into my Gudra, it's a little bit of a better matchup. Considering Thunder Punch, you're doing super effective damage. Bubble is going to be resisted. The only thing they can really hit you for, excuse me, sorry, is the play rough. And play rough doesn't even one shot at Gudra, which is absolutely absurd. Now, I'm hoping I can get the full farm down and redo. Dragon Breath farming down in Azumarill is absolutely insane. And they have a Lickitung too. So this team is just an absolute bulk. <laughs> Look at that. Thunder Punch does nothing. Kind of a scenario which, which you would want the Power Whip for a little bit of hard hitting damage, but uh, that's okay. So Body Slam gonna be coming in. That does some significant amount of damage. And then they decide to come in with a Dugong. And unfortunately two shields up to uh, my one. Typhlosion is definitely not going to be able to sweep for me because this team was so bulky. Now, if they seen a grass type on the lead or any electric type, this team might have a little bit of trouble. But uh, unfortunately, my two pseudo electric types aren't going to do the trick. So the pacing here, I do get baited with the ice one, which is unfortunate. All you have to do is shield this move up, get to this uh, drill run. Drill run is going to knock out the Typhlosion and then they can ice shard down my Glygar. Left, right, good night to that Diplosion. That's going to be a good game. Well played to my opponent there. Hopping to the next matchup here. Flygar on the lead versus a Shadow Venusaur. This is a great lead. You're going to outpace the aerial aces here. And wow, my opponent is lagging out. Um, Quite unfortunate for my opponent, but uh, you know, this this is just what happens. Delicent with a bubble comes in. Now, usually you'd have to try to build up with to the power whip here for the Gudra, but now you have a little bit of a cheaper energy cost here with Thunder Punch and Thunder Punch does fine. You can survive a Shadow Ball, no problem. I elect to no shield it and it's a surf and then my opponent just quits the match. So even from the start, I had the Gudra on the Jellison. I had my Glagar on the Venusaur. I don't know what the back Pokemon was, but we were in a pretty good position to win that 
uh, matchup, even if um, even if they didn't lag out at the start. So another great lead here, Gladgar into Charger Bug. I'm just gonna farm up some energy here. I know X Scissor and Discharge are both gonna be resisted, so there's no reason for me to shield any of that. So I'm gonna throw one and then the dig, and this dig is gonna put them very very low. If they decided to shield it, not enough to where I can farm down, but enough to where I can over farm a boat ton of energy here, because another X Scissor again is not gonna be enough. It's not going to be enough to threaten my Gligar here. And I just want to save shields for my Typhlosion. And I can actually... I do get the farm down. Surprisingly, they don't get to another move. And I do a Bozo head play here and throw my Aerialis. Definitely want to throw the Dig. Especially against this Umbreon, which is super bulky. And now in comes a Polyrath. And again, this is where the Thunder Punch is going to kind of help you out. You're going to get to it a lot faster than building all the way up to the power whip here. Thunder Punch is able to successfully grab a shield. I can no shield this move. Icy Wind going to put me very, very low. I do have energy banked here on my Gligar and hoping I can get the two aerial aces before I get knocked out. But we'll see. So I'm going to wait on the timer a bit here. Then come in with my Gligar, throw the aerial ace. Aerial ace is going to do super effective damage. So I'm assuming they're going to be shielding this move up, which they are. <laughs> and hoping I get to another one. Even if I can't, those wing attacks put it into a range where two blast burns are gonna knock out. And they didn't get enough energy to get two moves off anyway. So Icy Wing gonna get shielded. Gonna do one more incinerate. And all I need to do is do two or three more incinerates to have a double blast burn. And even a debuffed Typhlosion is going to knock out this a Breon here so one more incinerate gonna shield up the foul play foul play or dark pulse wouldn't knock out from this range it would get very close but i didn't have to shield i just did it just to save some health here <clears throat> and now this blast burn is definitely gonna say left right good night to umbreon there and it's a typhlosion sweep and that's gonna be a good game well played to my opponent there Whew. you love with the typhlosion can sweep so hopping into the next matchup here Lagar into another azumarill i think this one i just automatically swap out yeah out of me you can play it either way but uh taking all that bubble damage onto Gligar and giving that azumarill an energy advantage isn't the best scenario so the i overthought that and then i just like okay i'm just gonna swap into my gucci right away get some dragon breath damage off i know this is just an um it could be an ice beam or a player off so i do decide to shield that up but then they decide to come in with a charge buff so again we're gonna be resisting the volt switches uh x is going to do some decent damage but it's not going to one hit ko us so i don't have to shield this and all i have to do now i build up to another thunder punch i let them throw their move and then i can hop back into my glagar and go for a very very aggressive farm down even catching the second x scissor which is going to be beautiful here not going to do a whole lot of damage and i can even take another one if i want to but i'm not going to throw energy at this charger bug i'm just going to farm this thing all the way down even if they get to another move i'm not shielding just so I have maximum energy coming out of this matchup against that Azumarill when it wants to come back in. So I'm almost at two digs here. I'm going to throw one and then the move. If they shield this, so that's quite fine by me. I'm going to throw four more wing attacks after this and then the dig and then the dig again. I do have a uh, charge move banked here on my Udra as well. I have the Thunder Punch. So I'm not too worried if I just don't get my move off. I just let that go. I'm going to save a shield for Typhlosion. I throw one Dragon Breath and then the Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch going to get them quite low and uh not low enough for me to dragon breath them down unfortunately so i'm just gonna keep farming up some energy they do catch the move on the trevenant which is a little bit unfortunate but on my part i kind of threw on bad timing there but uh we just come in with the typhlosion we're gonna get the full incinerate farm down i'm gonna shield up this move it could be the shadow ball even if it's not they're not gonna get to another move anyways so there's no point in me not shielding that move they come back in with the azumarill um, I'm going to throw the Thunder Punch. I know their whole moveset is going to be resisted by Typhlosion, but Typhlosion is super glassy. And I'm wondering if we can even live an Ice point, ice Beam at this range. Can we even live the player up? Yes, we can. And we incinerate down the Azumarill. And uh, that's going to be a good game. Well played. Another Typhlosion sweep. So in these battles here, you are going to see Gudra being a, a good safe swap if you don't catch it on a ferry. So if there's no Wigglytuff, if there's no Alola Ninetales as a safe swap, this is going to be a great safe swap Pokemon. And even if you do catch that as a safe swap, like you can do neutral damage with Thunder Punch and Aqua Tail. Not going to do a crazy amount of damage, but you're going to put it into a range where either you can come in with your Gligar and farm it down, or you can come in with your Typhlosion. You're going to have to expend a couple shields to get the full farm down and then just get those shields back with Blast Burn and hopefully Gligar can sweep. So this whole team is, 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 uh, 
built around Gudra kind of being the safe swap and then Typhlosion being the sweeper. Double Thunder Punch users, Skarmory doesn't really have any play. It has a little bit of play against um, Gudra, but if you have an energy advantage, you can come, you can come out winning that two shield matchup there. A couple Thunder Punch plus Dragon Bats are going to be able to knock out the uh, Skarmory. So, and then obviously, even if you don't want to expend any shields, <laughs> you got your Incinerate user to take out the Skarmory, get a massive energy advantage. And just go to town with uh typhlosion but uh, this team was very strong for me but did very well i'm gonna play a little bit again today to see you know if i can get any more videos out or play a different team it's up to you guys what you want to see let me know down in the comments thank you also very much for being uh patient for my videos i appreciate that and if you have like if you like the video hit that like button comment if you want to see anything in the future hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because it really helps out the channel and it is greatly appreciated and we will see everybody in the next video take care have a good day Bye bye